have seen Sweet Bread a few times, and he's just one baby step away from putting it all together. He looked like he was having a great fight the last time and just threw that, that knee, that inadvertent but yet illegal knee. He's just happy to see him back at it. This should be a great one. Be interested to see if there's any hesitation on his part based off the outcome of his last fight, Scott. What do That's you think? That's a good point. You never know. I mean, it'll make him a smarter fighter. He's a really smart, he's a smart kid. That body shot hurt him enough for him to change positions. Cabrera showing some early quickness, spinning leg kick. He's flashy. Now, Dennis needs to get on his toes and start working. Sergio's definitely stalking him well, cutting off the cage. He's got his back against the cage. Nice kick by Dennis. Great leg kick. Took him down right away, and I think he's feeling that in the calf a bit. I think he kind of flexed it on the way up. There it is again. Dennis saw something he liked with it. The nice part about Dennis throwing that outside leg kick is it keeps him moving to his right away from Sergio's power, which Sergio's already had no problem throwing. Dennis does like to change his stance, as you see there. Now he goes, he goes lefty, switching back to an orthodox stance. Can be confusing. Nice real leg kick by Sergio. What about the spinning kick again? Wisely decided against it. Hope these guys are working their feeling out here. That was a solid rear leg. Answered by a solid rear leg. Pivot's kicks have done some damage early on. They certainly keep Cabrera on his toes. 3.40 to go in the opening round. Good action so far in the center of the cage between Dennis Paiva and Sergio Cabrera. Really good rear leg kick by Sergio there. Spinning back kick that was short. But these two not afraid to exchange with one another. Dennis is the shorter fighter. That's why you see when he lands a leg kick that Sergio's countering with his hands almost immediately. Because that distance is there for Sergio. Dennis has to work his way in a little bit. And he's doing a good job with that. You see him not staying still. He's throwing some feints. Not making an easy target. Nice overhand right by Dennis. Quick hands and feet by both fighters early on. We're at the halfway point almost in round number one. Bantamweight's never a slow fight. Absolutely. About halfway through the round, like you said, they're filling each other out pretty good, and now they're starting to size each other up. Again, a real leg by Sergio. Feel those kicks Again. from here. He's feeling comfortable with them because he's throwing them. He was looking for the switch kick and, and backed off it. Nice job by, by Dennis. Both these guys measuring distance. Again, real leg kick by Sergio. This is going to start to pay dividends. You can see both, both fighters' legs are starting to redden up a little bit. Yeah, this fight progresses. They're really both going to be feeling it at some point. It makes it makes it a little bit uh, a little bit harder to, to move when your legs feel a little heavy from getting kicked. Again with the rear leg. That was more of the foot than the shin on that one. Dennis again. It was a very solid rear leg, but he's getting counted. Followed up by a. Nice rear leg by Sergio. Yeah, Cabrera is really landing those at will in this opening round. Yeah, both fighters seem to be getting away and getting off with their rear legs. Nice head kick by Dennis. Just grazed the top of the head, otherwise yeah. a little bit low and this fight could be over. Nice job by Sergio shaking that off and, and at least showing that he's not hurt. His, his hands are up, his eyes are focused. Yeah, he ducked down pretty quickly and just got out of the way of that, thankfully for him. 116 to go in round number one. And again, that rear leg kick. And he's getting all of it. That was all shin into the meat. The second one was followed by foot where Dennis backed out a little bit. I'd like to see Dennis put a combination together. Probably was trying to catch that leg this time and maybe get the takedown, unable to do so. And we're back to the center of the cage here in the final minute of round number one. Sergio with the head kick of his own that fell short. Because both guys counter so well, neither one is very uh, willing to commit anything more than a one or two strikes. Yeah, it seems like they both contend with throwing one kick or a punch and backing out. Nice time gets there. it. He, he timed that kick very well. Nice right hand on the way up. 
to Sergio's credit, a good scramble to come right back up. And a brief exchange on the way up, but nothing significant. But for Paiva, a big takedown that maybe shifts the scoring in one particular direction. Yeah, you never know. And now do it for round number one. Good action thus far. We got plenty more as Cabrera takes on Paiva Jr. Good opening round, Scott. We saw a lot of leg kicks on both fighters' parts. Again, kind of a one and done mentality. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough thing. When guys counter as well as both these guys are countering tonight, they're looking at the fact that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have to pay for whatever I get off. So they're not willing right now to, to sit in that pocket and trade with their partner and you know trade with their opponent for the reason is you're getting counted. You can see Matt Santos over uh, Dennis's shoulder, and Matt is a fantastic ground guy. Uh, knows the game very, very well. I'm sure he's getting an air full of great advice right there. All right, we're about ready for round number two between Dennis Piver and Sergio Cabrera in the Bantamweight division. Action-packed fight, fast pace in round number one. Looking for more of the same in round number two as well. Here we go. No, <laughs> here's, we had four guys that weren't willing to touch gloves and both these guys showed each other great respect. Their leg kicked high to the head that was blocked well. And throughout most of this fight, Sergio's been the one coming forward. We'll see if either fighter can lull the opponent into a false sense of security with those low kicks and maybe catch something upstairs. I think that's what Dennis tried to do late in the first round. It, I mean, he hit him, but just not flush. Dennis starting to get busy with that jab, and that's what's going to set his feet up. Nice rear leg by Sergio. Sergio got a little bounce. He's starting to feel a little bit better about his distance now. There it is. Now that's what Dennis doing the same thing. Both guys really measuring each other out. Yeah, it seems like a real mutual respect on both parts. They both respect each other's ability, and like you said, the ability to counterattack. One of the things both fighters do well, and it's, it's overlooked a lot, is their defense. What uh, that other fighter is showing you to be available isn't there. Spinning back kick, and he, he was a little short on that. But both guys' hands are up. Both guys' chins are down. There's a nice quick snap jab by, by Dennis. But you can see Sergio, there's not much available. No. An inside leg. It really makes you work. When you have good solid defense, it really makes your opponent work. Pive is certainly letting his hands go a bit more, being willing to utilize the jab to try to set something up. Cabrera sticking strictly with the kicks, going both high and low. Three and a half to go in round number two. You know, the nice, nice job of ducking under and a great slam. Almost over slammed yeah. on that one. Sergio did get back up, and it looks like Dennis has that guillotine. It doesn't look super deep, although he's trying to transition his hands. He's giving it up to try to work up. Sergio has a single that he's trying to hold on to and keep Dennis against the cage. Certainly the first time this has gone to the ground for an extended period of time, and again, it was a well-timed move by Piva to catch that kick and get the takedown. Nice job creating that scramble. Both men working so hard. Great job scrambling up on, on both parts. Sergio not staying down off the initial slam, and Dennis not staying there after being reversed. And for what it's worth, Piva has two takedowns, really the only two takedowns of this fight. It's, it's worth, worth That was a great slam. You know, he yeah. brought him up high for that one. 2.30 to go in round number two. Dennis Piva in the white trunks, Sergio Cabrera in the black. And both fighters with red legs. Yeah. Again with the rear leg. That was might, maybe, it didn't look it, but that might have been the hottest kick that Dennis has thrown. It was very deep. There was a real thud, not a slap to it. That was all shin on the meat right there. I think you'll start seeing those legs get a little heavier at this point, although not right there. Sergio just let another one rip, and he's catching Dennis. Just as I say it, he comes back with another great leg kick, and that one knocks Piva down. And that's, well, one of the things that's aggravating Dennis a little bit, you saw him beat his own chest there, is the fact that the distance. Sergio is, is doing very well with it. He didn't take a step at all, but when he takes a little step inside, he's got the distance, the longer legs to make that happen. And Dennis, just, 
he was looking to bail, Mike. Mike yeah. Dennis was looking to back out of it and just got caught. There's just no opportunity to shoot for a takedown. Cabrera has timed it pretty well. If you look at the look at the lead leg, look at how bruised up yeah. that leg. You can see it crystal clear right now. Yeah, the back of Paiva's left leg. That's going to be sore in the morning. 1.13 to go in round two. Now guys are letting their hands go. A little bit closer than they've been in, uh, you know, throughout this bout. The action's really been in the center of the cage. For it's been fight. great. All night long it's been here. It, it, it's, it's been a great card so far. I think you're going to see Dennis. He switches back now, but I don't think he's going to stay there very long. That leg really looks beaten up. I'd like to see him start pumping that jab. And if Sergio's real comfortable, he should still go after that other leg. Cabrera trying for the uppercut. 36 seconds to go in round number two. Again, the jab with, from Paiva. That kick blocked by Paiva. Neither one of these guys want to take that little extra step with their back foot and get in that deep right now. And that'll do it in round number two. Again, another action-packed round, more of the same great fight. as we saw in the first. Can't wait to see round number three. This one should be a great finish. So far, Scott, a tough fight to call. Both that. fighters have had their moments to take a look at Piva's leg and they're trying to ice that down. That definitely looks painful. He's gonna feel it not only tomorrow, he's gonna feel it in the third round as well. And I wouldn't be surprised. In fact, I would fully expect Cabrera to try to expose that and continue to go to that leg. At some point, it's gonna yeah. give way. And that could be the turning point of the fight. If Dennis decides to start uh, fighting again orthodox, keeping his left leg forward, Sergio's done a great job of attacking that and I think he'll continue to do so. To protect that leg, Dennis did something very smart, and he switched his stance. And Dennis is also one of those guys that's real gifted. He can fight very well from either position. It would seem that leg injury might limit his stance. We'll see as he go into the third round. Well, here it is, round number three in the Bantamweight division. Dennis Piva Jr., Sergio Cabrera Piva in the white trunks. Cabrera in the black. Both fighters pumping up the crowd in between rounds. They want this. Here we go. Piva still switching up stances regardless of the condition of his leg. Willing to leave it out there. I think he'll continue to do what he does. He's got he's to show it. Yeah. He's got to show that I can go to that side even if he doesn't want to just for a minute. Let him know it's still there. It's possible. Sergio has no problem throwing that rear leg at all at any target. The way this fight's gone so far to this point, I, one of these fighters really needs to make a stand, whether it be now or in a couple of seconds, and, and really dictate that they want this fight. I agree, because you really have no telling how they're going to call shot it. that single for maybe just that reason. Great there take down. Is. But look at Sergio there. scramble right back up. Oh, All right, grab the cage. There's a warning. Yeah. Kevin, Kevin looked on to the referee. Warning, both guys throwing punches. Piva letting his hands go. Cabrera doing the same. That was a, that was a really tough call. Um, he grabbed that cage. He was going for a ride if he didn't. Yeah. And again, just a warning, no deduction. No, that was his final warning. If you right. if you watch Kevin, Kevin won't let that happen again. Kevin McDonald, the referee. Next time he grabs the cage, he'll take a point because that was such an infraction. Cabrera missing upstairs with a couple of lefts and rights. 3.21 to go in the third and final round. Piva trying to flip that jab again. That's what he needs to do to set pace and set timing. That's where Dennis is at his best when the jab's moving, he's got a little bounce in his feet. You know, again, this is the first time I've seen Sergio, but he's a very well-rounded fighter. He's defending well, he's countering well. There's a counter right hand, and he's game. He's inside, he wants to be there. And showing a tremendous amount of poise for a fighter in his pro debut. Absolutely. Which has really been a reoccurring theme tonight among the young fighters on this card. But I've said it, we said, we've all said it earlier. This is a credit to the matchmaking. Most pro guys making their pro debut aren't at this level. You have to do your homework. You have to know who you're dealing with. And obviously, Pat Sullivan does. First time pro fighters, 
This is his first time, pro debut up against a guy with three fights, and he's holding his own. Nice leg sweep on that. Dennis worked extra hard for that takedown and got it. Ivan doing a nice job in this round with a couple of takedowns. Cabrera again, so quick getting back to his feet. Knee off the cage. It's knee to the head by Sergio. Third knee Dennis disengages with. The action has been intense from start to what we expect to be a tremendous finish in this bantamweight bout. Two minutes to go. Still a chance for either fighter to turn the tide one way or another. There's still plenty of time to, like you said, turn the tide because it, I, you really can't tell which way this fight's going. Dennis has had the takedowns for a split second. You know, who's winning the exchanges? I'd have to say Sergio looks like he's been winning the majority of them. Not all of them, but maybe the majority of them. Very similar to the Taiwan Howard Alex Karolexis fight. Good call, Mike. That's a very, very good. Uh, Howard was more adept at the striking. Karolexis had the takedowns, and in the end, Taiwan Howard won. We'll see how this goes if it does, in fact, go the distance. A minute and a half to go in round number three. Left hook landed. You can see with Sergio, they're both throwing these. Sergio's looking for the takedown. He's got. He's trying to get both hands underneath his. There we go. Nice fighting it off, Dennis. Well done, both men working extra hard right now. A minute left in this fight, somebody needs to go and get it. Sounds like Dennis's corner is calling for that takedown. Both guys still feeling themselves out. Dennis paying attention, shoots that single. And you see Sergio trying to go for the guillotine. Might be deep enough to, to maneuver his head, not to finish with it, but to maneuver his head and avoid the takedown with it. Dennis really working hard. He has both hands around that, that left leg, trying to work that single. Another takedown here wouldn't be big. We've got 15 seconds to go in this final round. His elbows to the side of the head. Sergio really working hard to try to get Dennis to let go. And Paul, what a there great is. takedown. Great takedown. And he went right to punches. And that's how we're going to end it. A great big fight. third round for Dennis Paiva. A great fight all around. We'll see how the judges score this one. It should be interesting as we go the distance. Well, once again, Scott, a tremendous finish in this bout. Dennis Paiva had three takedowns yeah, he in did. that third and final round. We'll see if that makes a difference in the scoring. And if you notice, with that, with that last takedown, he didn't try to keep him there. He let him go and just started ripping punches. Great job. It seemed like he was more intent just to get the takedown and then see where it goes. And plus, time really wasn't on his side there, seeing that they were the final I also think Dennis did not, didn't like taking some of those elbows on the cage and wanted to make him pay sure. for it. Well, a great fight, and again, it's going to be interesting to see how the judges score this one. Which style do you prefer? Do you prefer the striking? Do you prefer the takedowns and the execution? i got to give the edge to Piva here if I'm judging. I'm a, you know, if, if I'm judging the fight, it, I don't know for sure. I would be writing things down and looking back on these other, you know, what first round, second round happened. From an overall standpoint, Dennis hit those takedowns. He did a great job. I think we're going to see the takedown at the very end of the fight coming here. You can see the elbow Sergio's throwing. Up he goes with a high single, and he lets him go, and it, yeah, he gets one or two, three good punches off to end the, yeah. end the round. Also landed two or three, and that may, like you said, may have been part of the strategy there. While he has him dazed a bit on the ground, yeah. start throwing those lefts and rights and land a couple punches. Now, did I do a good job avoiding who I said won this fight from, a, from the judges standpoint? You have been very non-committal thus far. <laughs> Unfortunately for the judges, they cannot be as non-committal. They do have to make a decision, and we're going to get it soon. Both fighters hyping up their fan base. This is what I'd like to see again, to be honest with you. Both guys look like, uh, look pretty evenly matched. Dennis did a great job. Sergio did a great job. You look at that leg. Sergio definitely was landing those leg kicks. All right, well. We've had three exciting rounds in the books here in the Bantamweight division. Let's get the official decision from our ring announcer, Bill Carpenter. Ladies and gentlemen, after three five-minute rounds in the cage, let's go to the judges' scorecards for your official decision. 
Judge Brian Miner scores it 30 to 27. Judges Bob Paolino and Wayne Lima both score it 29-28. All three judges scoring for your winner by unanimous decision, Sergio El Loco Cabrera.